Hi guys, so today um, I'm going to be discussing something a little bit different. You know, from my channel, I usually talk about my nails. But I don't want to just be a nail channel where I'm just constantly talking about nails. I want to talk about other aspects of my life as well. But today, I just have my nails bare. These are my natural nails, as you guys know. If you're subscribed, and if you haven't yet, please do, because I will be making nail videos and plenty of other different videos too. So, yeah, I'll just show you my nails today. And today, I don't have on any makeup, and I'm just wearing these pink glasses because it's summertime. <laughs> and you know I gotta look cute. Yeah. So today, what I want to talk about is how you can get an A in any college course. Now I'm not going to name this video how to how to get a 4.0 because that's like a trigger word for some people and some people just kill themselves um, to try to get 4.0s and I don't really believe in that. Um, this is just my strategy of how you can get an A in any college course. And I'll just give you a little bit of my background first. I have experience working as an employee of a college as a tutor. So I know how to get good grades, guys. <laughs> so I was um, um, a philosophy tutor and an English tutor. And pretty much I helped people with any subject that had to do with any writing. So if they had an essay for any subject, I could pretty much help them write it. So that's my past and why I'm credible to tell you how to get A's because you have to be, you know, a good student to become a tutor. Alright, so my first tip is going to be, I'm looking at my notes guys, so first tip is organization and or organization is incredibly important and like it may sound like cliche, I don't know. I'm thinking I should probably take these glasses off. Or are they cute, guys? Comment below if you like my glasses on my head. It reminds me of, like, a Barbie doll, kind of, in a box. Alright, I'll just leave them on for now. Okay, the first tip is organization. And, like, this is not a cliche. Organization is extremely important when it comes to getting good grades. Literally, from the first day of class, like even a week before get organized have your binder have your classes separated everything and one thing I want to add in this point is make sure you review your syllabus you want to know what what's offer it what's what's um, what's how many points are possible in the course you want to know from the get-go what you got to do how many points are available and how you can get all of them and you also want to figure out is this a course that you're gonna like so figure that out I would say a week or two before school starts so organization very important and it keeps your mind on track when you're organized okay second is gonna be stay focused on the present yeah, present well stay focused on the here and now um, what I mean by that is don't be worrying about some midterm that's like uh, two months away or some essay that's due three months away don't worry about the final focus on the here and now say for instance um, your professor assigned you to answer three questions today as your homework make sure you answer the hell out of those questions get all the points available all the points possible and that's how you slowly build yourself up to the grade that you desire that's how you get your a take it day by day and do your absolute best and make sure if they offer any extra credit in the meantime makeup do it over get maximum points don't take it lightly I see so many people, they pass on um, getting extra credit. Like, why would you do that? That's such an easy pass. If your teacher, your professor is nice enough to allow that, take the opportunity. I don't care if you get like a 9.5 out of 10 and she offers or he offers to him, let you make it up to get a 10, do it. That's how you get your A's, guys. Okay, 
moving on to the third the third point do what your professor asks you to do now i know this is kind of like uh, for people that don't like to take don't like to listen to direction they're like i ah, don't want to hear it i don't want to know but what i mean by this is don't be like you don't have to be like a kiss ass or suck up to your teacher or professor um, what i mean by this is most of the time what they're looking for in educational institutions is that you retain the wisdom that they provide to you and they're basically only trying to assess that you understand what they're telling you and so what I mean by that is literally teach back what the, the teacher taught you <laughs> and you know teachers adore when you um, when you when when you illustrate that you understand uh, their wisdom they adore it and that's an easy way to get an A very easy so yeah that's how how curriculums work they're looking um, I'm gonna take the glasses off <laughs> they're looking um, they're looking to see if you understand their wisdom I mean they want to provide their knowledge to you um, yeah so literally um, do what is asked of you don't try to to be this innovative person and try to go against your teachers ideology and come up with your own thing or try to, to argue with them um, yeah okay and the last point is consistency stay consistent um, Consistency reaps results in anything you do in life. So when you stay consistent, you will get a result, hopefully a good result. So consistency is key to um, to anything in life, anything that you desire. And what I mean by consistency is just build your way up. You got to build those points up to that A. That means studying, that means attendance, that means completing all assignments, that means taking advantage of extra credit opportunities you name it um, yeah and that's um, all for today guys um, that's how you can get an A in any college course so yeah see ya